Hey everybody, this is James Dime with GlockCNC.com and this is a video on hooking up the GlockCNC spindle motor to the spindle motor driver and to your CNC system as well or even using a rotary knob or a 10k knob. So let's start out with hooking the motor up to the power itself and the driver. Okay, the power is going to start right here. So you're going to have your two power, now this might be black or it might be brown depending on where we source the power cable. This might be white or might be blue depending on where we ended up sourcing the, the cable. Sometimes the same supplier even changes it on us right here. But know that the ground is going to hook right down here. Okay, so it's pretty simple. Now the motor power cable, which you see right here, it's going to be in the order of these last three hookups right here is going to go yellow, green, and then blue. And if you look and you see this yellow with a green line going through it or a green stripe going through it, that's going to go to the ground section right here. This plug right here, this connector should already be all set up. Now if any of these happen to have come loose, you'll use a screwdriver in the side right here and it'll open up like a little clamping mechanism in there and you can put that bare wire back in there and use a little screwdriver to clamp it back on there if any of these come loose. And that's exactly the same as how you will hook up this portion right here if you're using this connector, but it's a nice little long one that goes right here. All right, so here's how to hook it up. We'll start with the 10K potentiometer. If you're going to do that, then you'll be using pin number one, two, and three and those will correspond to the three pins that you have on your potentiometer. It's, it's really that simple. Now, if you are going to hook up to a CNC system, whether you're using pulse with modulation or you're using an analog voltage system, maybe a zero to 10 or zero to five volt, these are the two pins you're going to use right here, okay? This is going to be the common right here and this is actually going to be the signal pin. Now, if you have the option on your breakout board to use engage to start and stop the motor, then it is right here. It's actually this and common. These are the two that are used to do that. Now, if you're already using this to control the speed, you might already have the common connected into your breakout board. What you'll want to do ultimately, though, is you can consult wherever you bought your breakout board from. You can send them an image of this along with the PDF manual to show them where to get it. That is available on the page where we sell these at the GlockCNC.com store. And then they can also give you some instruction on how to do that and how to set it up inside of Mach 3. And that is it. That's all that is needed. Once again, this is James Diamond. Make sure to join our YouTube channel as well as our private group in Facebook that will be starting up. If you have any questions on how to do that or where to go, you can send us an email at sales at glockcnc.com and it'll send you a link to the Facebook group as well as a link to the YouTube channel. All right, I shall talk to you later. Bye-bye.